Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about feathers. Okay, this is a workflow video. Um, okay, let's start with. Yeah. You can search, um, picture search here in Google for such uh, feather silhouettes and use it as a as a mask stamp and okay so <clears throat> it's easier to have such a, a picture here so how does it work it works uh, via the tube tool so here you see at the moment the tube is selected and so when i draw with a brush i can yeah create feathers at the moment they are only yeah white or blank so yeah you can also use uh, colored textured feathers and it's also possible to create printable feathers with this workflow so you have to watch the video then you see that uh, um, you can make them 3D uh, or yeah, extract them. Okay, so the best is I start with a with a new project. So I delete the sphere. So we we need a plane and. I rotate the plane in the front view so like this and here I check the the wireframe so this is my topology at the moment um, we need a little bit more poly count so I validate the plane and use multi resolution and I subdivide it so with linear subdivision maybe up to this here so with a plane we create a opacity map so I use now the cell mask tool and so I mask here such a blobby shape whoops unmask was active So okay, we can use symmetry or not. So creates a thing something like this here. So this is your feather and it's also possible, I go a few steps back, so to use such a mask stamp here, um, something like this here, it's also possible, it's the same. So we need something like this. And the next thing is here, we color the plane and use here, um, a pure black pure black zero 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 and paint all so now I can clear the mask and this is what we get so you see here it's a little bit jaggy so we can go back and maybe use more subdivision and create it again so a, a little bit nicer <coughs> okay 
The next step is here in the MISC menu. And uh, sorry, and when you add the plane, make sure that this UV checkbox is active so that um, your plane has a UV. So this is important. Okay, so the next thing is we bake the texture. So bake color from itself. 1K is okay. So from itself. So now you see here in the color texture slot we got a, a black and white image here. This is our texture. And this becomes our opacity map. So, okay. Um, so you can normally you find your textures here in the TMP folder. So here, TMP. So, but I'm on iCloud, so I can't access this, access <laughs> this folder. So I have to do is I export as OBJ, the selected, and I export this, this file. So, sorry, I delete this first, so you see it here. So export OBJ, save. So you see here now, here's our texture, our PNG texture. Okay. So now we got our opacity map. So the plane, in fact, we don't need anymore. We can delete it. So I add a, a test object like the sphere. And now we need the tube tool. So tube tool curve is active. So just draw a curve. So I put this tube out of the sphere. So, okay, the next thing is we activate the profile and the editor. So and you see here a closed option. So make the profile as an open profile. So now we can delete the the other nodes we don't need. So and you see here this is the back side of the um, yeah of the object here of the so and we we re rotate this whole thing that we can see here the front side. Okay, so fine. Let's check the wireframe. So the wireframe is high. Yeah, we can use it or not. You can uh, change here the the divisions and yeah. Uh, later for the extraction, we need a poly count, but if we want to uh, see only uh, a textured thing, then the poly count could be low. Okay. So the next thing here is we need a texture here on this. Here the opacity slot. And select the files so I have to find my here in the plane this one so this is now our texture or our opacity map uh, for the feather so we can set the radii here maybe we need all three so here we can play um, with the settings for our feather and <coughs> yeah 
that's it. Okay, the next thing is to draw the uh, multiple feathers, select the tube tool, the active feather and the curve. So, and now draw one feather after the other where you want it. So make sure that the snapping here is not active um, so that you don't snap on the other feathers. So yeah, paint feathers like this. Okay, so how to give the feathers a color. Okay, you see here all the, f oops, so I use a few tool. You see here all the um, feathers are unvalidated. So I pick one of them and keep it so as a backup. So like this and the other ones I select and I join it. So and then here on the three dots menu here you find the separate option. So separate it again then they are all validated and fine. So and then select so I turn on the outline and then select one use the solo mode and now it's possible to paint with a color maybe we want brown feathers here like this so you can paint here on on the feather so I select the other color yeah you can do it nicer and you can increase the poly count so we can go back and sorry for to this position and multi resolution so you can um, subdivide the the whole thing so then your color gets a little bit nicer or subdivided once more like this But, in fact, you have to do it before. <laughs> so, yeah, I go back um, because we need it for the other uh, ones also. So, I paint it um, like this. So it's about the workflow. So, paint the whole thing. And, yeah. Okay. When the paint is okay for you, so you have to go to the mist menu. And now we bake the color here. At the moment, there is no color uh, texture on, on this uh, thing here. So now bake from itself the color. And now you see here, you got your color texture on the feather. So I leave now the solo view 
and this tube here rename it as color this is your color tube so and the next thing is here select all the tubes and the last selection here the last one is your color selection so you see here it's highlighted so it's a little bit brighter than the others here and then press join then all your feathers become colored because they share the same UV map okay So the next thing is here, you see here, you have here your opacity map active here. And the next thing is if you want um, printable feathers, you can, here is a reproject option. You can here select opacity to mask option. And now it's possible to reproject from itself. So when you press this button here, all the feathers become masked. And you see here the problem. I turn on the wireframe. So we need here more topology. So when we extract here now the mask, so So this is what you get and it's um, we need much more topology so in fact I demonstrate a, a, a other feather so for this we have our backup feather so the other ones I delete also You see here our poly count here. So we have to go much higher. So like this here. So So I draw a few more. So here with this tube here, I validate this one. Use a solo view. And here in the um, material settings, you can um, turn this colored back face off. Okay, so again here, the reproject opacity to mask and here uh, reproject from itself so now you see the mask is much clearer so and now when we use the mask extraction so let's check smoothness So this is what you get when you use um, a higher poly count for the tubes. So like this. And you can extract all feathers with one step. Yeah, it's a complex topic, I think. <coughs> but maybe you find here um, a nice workflow or not yeah that's it for the moment okay have fun with sculpting ciao